Hello, in spring and early summer, you need to take care of the leaves as best you can, take care of them, and not let them get damaged or burned. When we apply any fertilizer to the leaves, the plant is definitely stressed. To reduce this stress, you need to keep the concentrations low. A very simple rule is to keep the total salt content of these mineral fertilizers to less than a tablespoon per bucket, 10 liters, of water. In order to increase the penetration of these fertilizers into the leaf you need to add something. A very cheap tablet works effectively for both root and foliar applications. So you can always add this one pill to boost the effectiveness of any fertilizer considerably. It is very good even by itself if you do not add any fertilizer. Just use this one. It is already very good. It helps those substances that are already in the soil to penetrate into the plant and there is a very good absorption. I am talking about a known remedy called glycine. Glycinum. Glycine is available in small tablets of 100 mg. I'm going to take 3 glycinum tablets of 100 mg and dissolve them in a glass of water. It is better to take lukewarm water for a quick dissolution. When you prepare any fertilizer solution for root or non-root fertilizers and you just take this tablet you can turn it into a powder between two spoons, so that it dissolves faster here, and all in easily, you add it to sprouts fertilizers, for large plants and especially when applying any fertilizing solutions on the leaf. One hundred milligrams of glycine per one liter of water will enhance the effect of any fertilizer, both micronutrients and macronutrients. You may have already heard that nitrogen fertilizers, for example, 
are used by plants only 30%. Glycine lets them use 100%. What a saving! Besides being an excellent chelator, glycine also opens up channels to various nutrients in the plant. It has many useful functions. It is also a source of nitrogen for plants and a precursor to many amino acids on its own. I also dissolve a complex fertilizer that contains macronutrients and micronutrients, according to the instructions. Also in each feed, we add bio preparation, which we grew and grew ourselves back in the winter. Keep in mind that this is a great way to get the calcium fertilizer absorbed when you do preventive or treatment treatments for a pickle rye on tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, zucchini, watermelons, melons, and cabbage. Many plants are damaged by apex rot, and so when you're doing any foliar calcium feedings, maybe it's calcium nitrate or calcium nitrate, make sure you're not too lazy to add this very glycine there. These are such bio preparation. 1. Phytosporin, the active ingredient of Bacillus subtilis. 2. Guapsin, aqueous suspension of the bacterium Pseudomonas oreofusciens. 3. Trichovite, trichoderma fungi. 4. Azotophyte, Azotobacter chr. 5. Phyodactor, Bacillus subtilis. 6. Mycorrhiza. Glomus. We recommend that you watch a separate video about their making on our channel. Thank you for your likes, comments, and subscriptions. See you again soon. Sorry.